Can you believe it's almost December? And what's the one of the most popular New Year's resolution? It's quitting smoking, right? For smokers, the biggest fear is usually lung cancer, while the only real solution is quitting. Today, I want to share three supplements that can at least support your health if you're still smoking. But just to be clear, these will not reverse the damage from smoking, but they can help minimize some of the damage. We all know how bad smoking is, so I'm not going into why it's bad, I'll go straight to the point. The first up is sulforaphane. This is a phytochemical found in cruciferous vegetable like broccoli and cauliflower. This study showed that individuals consuming more than 4.5 serving of cruciferous vegetable per month, which is about 2.5 cups, reduced their lung cancer risk by 55% compared to those having less than 2.5 serving which is about 1.5 cups per month. When you look around, where are most of our everyday products made? It's made in China, right? And what's the air quality like in those factory area? Keep that in mind and take a look at the study. They conducted a randomized control trial in Qidong, a city known for its air pollution problem. Many residents there are heavily exposed to airborne pollutants. Researchers gave them a broccoli sprout drink containing glucosinolate and myrosinase, which are precursor to sulforaphane. They then measured the excretion of carcinogens like benzene and acrylene through their urine. The result? After consuming broccoli sprout beverages, benzene excretion increased by 61% and acrylene by 23%. This indicates that drinking broccoli sprouts beverage help detoxify these airborne carcinogens, preventing them from accumulating in the body. But remember that smoking not only damaged the lung, but also blood vessels too. This study also found that consuming cruciferous vegetable lowers cardiovascular disease mortality rate, which makes them a must-have supplement. Now you might be wondering which form should you take. There are two main types available sulforaphane supplement and glucosinolate and myrosinase combined supplement. Glucosinolate is precursor to sulforaphane, making it more stable compound while myrosinase is the enzyme that converts this precursor to sulforaphane. Here are the pros and cons of each supplement. Sulforaphane are already in their active form, making absorption faster. They are also convenient since they come in standardized dose. However, sulforaphane is chemically unstable and metabolized quickly, requiring consistent intake to maintain effect. On the other hand, glucosinolate and myrosinase combined supplement allows sulforaphane to naturally form in the gut. Gut microbes also contribute to this conversion, potentially increasing bioability. However, the downside is that the conversion rate varies significantly based on the individual's gut microbiota. If you have a poor gut health, sulforaphane production may be limited. For long-term health management, I recommend the glucosinolate and myrosinase combination as it promotes a stable sulforaphane generation. However, for immediate effect, sulforaphane supplement might be more effective. While I love to dive into deeper into mechanism like NRF2 pathway, but I will stop here to keep the video short. But one important thing here though, those undergoing chemotherapy or radiation treatment should avoid these supplements. Next is the vitamin C. As I mentioned earlier, smoking doesn't just affect your lungs. Let's think about it. Gas exchange happens in the lung, which means substance in the air enter your bloodstream. When you smoke, harmful compound from cigarette enters your bloodstream during gas change and the circulate throughout your body. One of the biggest problem is oxidative stress. Simply put, this oxidative stress from cigarette can damage your cells, DNA, proteins, lipid in your body. This is where vitamin C comes in. Through redox reaction, it helps to neutralize some of those oxidants. Since smokers' body are constantly using vitamin C to combat oxidative stress, they often have a lower blood level of this vitamin C compared to non-smoker. This study explains that smoker requires a significantly higher intake of vitamin C to maintain steady levels due to increased metabolic turnover. 
they recommend at least 140 milligram of vitamin C daily. I personally follow high dose or mega dose vitamin C regime. This has been a topic of debate for over 50 years, but I believe the benefit outweighs the risk. I take 6 grams daily, 2 grams 3 times a day. If mega dosing is not right for you, I would recommend at least 1000 mg daily. In Eastern medicine, the lungs are considered one of the five most vital organs. They need to stay moist and cool and nourished to function properly. Now, think about smoking. Cigarettes represent fire, don't they? The lungs, like cave, need to remain cool and hydrated. But what happens when you keep introducing fire? The lungs dry out, disrupt their natural balance. Dry lungs lead to coughing, phlegm, throat discomfort, and shortness of breath. Over time, the lungs lose their ability to recover itself. Eastern medicine emphasizes cooling and moisturizing the lung to protect and restore their function. And this is where my third recommendation comes in. Pure breath. Pure breath is a design to clear lungs, reduce unnecessary heat, and hydrate them, making it an excellent choice for smokers. This formula contains a powerful herbs that helps manage tired, overheated, low-function lungs, which is perfect for smokers. So to summarize, if I were a smoker, I would take sulforaphane, vitamin C, and pure breath all together. If I were undergoing chemotherapy or radiation, I would stick to vitamin C and pure breath. Supporting your body with both Western and Eastern medicine can create a powerful energy. You'll be surprised. But remember, only way to restore the full function of the lung is to quit smoking. If you've been smoking for 20 years, then it will take about 20 years to fully recover. So please do your best to quit. Hope this video was helpful and please share this video with anyone who smokes. And I'll be back next week with another valuable information. And now we all know health is wealth. So invest in yourself. This is Dr. Shum making health easy for you. Happy Thanksgiving. Thank you.